Hello, my name is Adrian Granmiel, and I'll write a song. And our project is removing human compatibility from urban roads using autonomous vehicle systems. Before we begin, we would like to acknowledge our Cluster 1 faculty who have been a great help thus far. So the goal of our project was to create an autonomous vehicle that can drive to an intersection, recognize that it is at an intersection, and then determine which way it has to go at the intersection based on its environment, and do this all while following traffic rules of stoplight. So there are four main objectives to our goal. The first one is to have the scribbler move towards the intersection, represented by the CD right here. The scribbler will stop once it is directly over the CD. Once it stops, it will turn right and turn left, and then check the color of the buildings to its right and to its left to determine which way it has to go with the light. Then the scribbler will detect and process the traffic light to see whether it has to go or stop. And then once the scribbler determines that it sees a green light, it will then execute its directional commands. So the hardware that we used to accomplish this goal was a Scribbler 2 robot, the IPRD Flip 2 board, and the Arduino Uno microcontroller. The Scribbler 2 is a fully assembled robot with two motors with wheels and a multitude of sensors to determine what is in its environment. The IPRE Flute 2 board is an add-on to the Scribbler that allows Bluetooth connectivity, a color camera, and a few other sensors. The Arduino Uno microcontroller that we used and an attached breadboard and can be used to control several small electronic components and is fully programmable. So the Flute 2 board can be programmed using the Python library Myra, which is a series of built-in functions that is compatible with the Scribbler robot. The Arduino Uno board can be programmed using the Arduino programming language, a combination of C and C++ commands. So here we have some sample code, and this is detecting the color of the buildings to its side. So the possible applications of this, if you're from the Bay Area, you may already have seen <coughs> self-driving cars going around. They are very safe and they've been tested for about 300,000 miles without accident. This is a much better track record than most humans have. <laughs> so if you were to replace most cars on the road with this, you have much safer roads and much fewer accidents. Our scribbler, in, 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 we made our scribbler with the intention of modeling a self-driving car in a smaller scale, but it can be used at a much higher scale as demonstrated by Google's self-driving car. So what did we learn? We became more familiar with image processing because our project primarily used image processing. Image processing is when the camera takes a picture of an image and it goes through certain pixels of the image. Each pixel has three distinctive colors, red, green, and blue, which can be represented as RGB. So you can have the, uh, you can process the image and have it find certain colors and execute certain commands based on that. The problem with our code was it had, we originally started with hard-coded RGB values, and that proved very difficult because the camera had an auto brightness feature that could either brighten or darken the, um, the picture based on where the environment. So for say, you had a scribbler uh, have a certain distance between the building or between the traffic line. So instead, we used ratio of RGB values, so how much red to green to blue, and that proved more accurate than having them using hard-coded values. This a video demo. the scribbler stops at an intersection. Then the scribbler will test the color of the building to its right. The scribbler then determines the color of the light at the intersection. When the light turns green, the scribbler will then turn right to its destination. Now we tell the scribbler to turn towards a new destination, the pink building.
Scribble. And in the most recent version that was created after that video demo, we made it so that it can actually turn in all four directions based on the colors that it sees currently. In that video demo, it can only see turn right or left, but now it has been improved and we can turn both directions. So any questions that you have, please feel, uh, please hold them until after all the pres presentations have been done, and you can either ask me or my partner, Adrian. Thank you for listening.